So let's talk about the pre-treatments, which is your epoxies, your acid etch primers, and your wipes, and kind of go through the pros and cons of, of, of them all, where they kind of fit in your, in your repair process. So with epoxies, epoxy primers, they are great for restorations, uh, for jobs that are going to sit for a while, all right, get, the, get that bare metal sealed up. If you're doing wet on wet application and, and manufacturing or, or refurbing things, it's awesome for that. It's also excellent and necessary for window windshield replacement uh, along the win, window welts, right? So make sure that you epoxy them before you, you glue the window back, windshield back in because uh, that's part of your structure. It may, needs to have good adhesion. So, so uh, the pros are uh, you've got a sandable uh, product. It's a thicker film build. Um, it's also good for your windshield replacement. Now, the cons are that it is a longer dry time, right? Might take a little longer for it to set before you can do it. You gotta, you have, gotta cure it a little bit more before you can uh, do anything with it. And they are a little more difficult to sand than a regular urethane primer. So let's talk etch primers. So these are great for bare metal areas uh, that need to be sealed because obviously you need to seal over your etch primers. Uh, these are faster process times um, to get your job done quicker. So they kind of fit the body shop productivity a little bit better than the epoxies, but epoxies still have its place, right? There's no influence on texture um, and you've got the uh, passivated uh, substrate that you're going to top coat over top of that. So this is the the cons are there's there's limited top coat selection, and it's easy to over apply. So follow your TDS sheets when you're using these products. The other one we have is the etch wipes. These are for small areas, little style lines you've cut through. Uh, gives you really good corrosion protection for that. Uh, easy to keep them uh, wetted up so it's fast process uh, and there's no influence on the texture again and very similar to what the uh, uh, etch primers had uh, you can also over apply this so use according to the TDS sheet right and it's only for small areas that's really the, the, the cons are so it's only for small areas so that's really the difference you in, in your shop you should have all three if you if you uh, you know that way you can get the jobs done for what you're doing and get the best corrosion protection from each of, of the three.